What's up guys, I'm coming to you from a golf course spot with my buddy Roger. You'll see his information down below, Row Rig, and that's how I find him. He's tagging me in a bunch of posts, and I always see he's catching big fish, man. So I had to come fishing with him. Luckily, uh, he already proved that there's some fish in here this evening. He's on a couple catch. How many did you catch already? I had three bites and one catch. Okay, so he's already had three hits. We've actually been here at this pond before with Chef Aaron. I think he's even on the way. Uh, it's going to be a whole party. There might be four or five of us around this pond here in a little bit. It's going to be funny, but uh, I'm thinking conditions are ideal for some big bass annihilation. We're going to throw some big baits. We've got uh, the Whopper Ploppers ready. Trust me on that because that's what they are hitting last time. But let's just go ahead and get after it. Ooh, are we on already? Are we on already? Oh, come on. On the drop. <laughs> on the drop, baby. There let's we go. Oh, can't, can't even get an intro in around here, man. When you're with Roger, he catches Ooh. fish, boy. Oh, Yo, yeah. that's a three plus. There you go. That's a big old three pounder. Anyways. Boom, <sighs> right there. Yes, nuts, man. What's this right here? On that, like, I, I call it PB&J. Guggenbaits, Crack and Craw. With the Crack and Craw trailers. Catching them right off the bat. All right, I gotta get a trench hog in the water, man. This is driving me nuts over here. Right now we've got a chatterbait, a frog, and a trench hog. I could probably deal with some fresh scent on this bad boy. I kind of chopped them down from a previous catch. Let's just throw up for a second. Where are they at? Are they in the shade or are they in the sun? My trench hog feels like it's just at the top of the water. Like some parts of this are just so shallow. I should have brought my glasses. <laughs> oh, dang it. Well, ladies and gents, we have identified where the fishies are, but got to catch them. This dude crushing it. I need a jig. Yes, dude. All decent bass right here. What? Oh, you just left. Yeah. Guys, Roger is killing it right now. Like, I guess the jig is where it's at. I'm throwing a Texas rig. Oh, he's about to go back in that water. <laughs> Nuts, man. I bet you they like that crawl, cause freaking last time I was here, I think that's what they hit. I don't remember. I know they'll hit this worm though. What the heck? Catching fish. <laughs> yeah, dude, I kind of want. You want to hit it? Yeah. It's literally like it's just on the other side of these trees. Yeah. Making our way to the juice. Second pond's right beyond these trees. Oh, and it looks like Frog City. Oh, and I hear the frogs. No, oh, that's a bird. That's a whack chirp. Anyways, we made it to spot number two. Well, I might tie on a jig here in a minute if they don't hit this. I'm, I'm still not convinced they won't hit this. I just got to get in front of them. Oh, it. Oh, wow. Jeez. Almost took it out of my hands. I'm over here, like, wiping myself off. <laughs> Look, it's like a two-pounder. <laughs> wow. You wanted that, kid. Oh, my gosh. Dang. Did y'all catch that? <laughs> Oh god. Sick. First fish of the night. Fat, plump, 1.75. <laughs> that was uh that was definitely a hammer of a hit. Like literally, he grabbed it and just tried to tug straight away. Uh not typical of most of my bites. Literally, I was like, okay, set it. He's got it. Sometimes you know you like to let it sit for a minute, make sure they have it. Nah, not the case this time. Let's let him get back into the water and try and get that bigger one because. Rose making me look bad over here. Answering the phone while I'm trying to catch a fish and stuff. Making it look easy. When he grabbed it, he ran straight away because my rod dipped. And I was like, dude, this has to be like a four. A four plus. Yeah, that was not a typical two pounder bite. It looks like, I wonder if we can cast from there too. Because that whole opening into the right looks pretty juicy as well. That's a nice spot over there though where we parked. Yeah. It, I might make my way over to that point and see what happens. Where mm -hmm. you gonna cast? Because I don't want to mess up your spot. But I was gonna try over where the grass is right here and see if anything happens. Oh, one just let it go. But he let it go and he came back for it if I'm like, dang. Yeah, yeah, yep. Oh my God, are 
Are you kidding? I think I honestly got broke off that time. I don't think I I don't think I missed him. It's just a confidence thing. 15 is fine, but I just feel weird about it. That's what I used for like the whole first year and a half, 30 pound braid for everything, dude. I had nothing other than 30 pound braid tied on to like five or six reels and I used it for everything. Once I found something that was strong and that worked and I'd be like ripping baits out of trees and like just never worried about it. I, yeah, I really liked it. I didn't like the idea of slack in the line and all these things. He's like, don't get that. And I was like, did you see that? Yeah. I don't even want to set the hook, dude. It's like, I'm not, I'm never going to catch a fish over here. No, it can't be a good one. All my bad luck. There's no way this is over a pound and a half. Oh, it's kind of decent. It's kind of decent. <laughs> no, flip them up here on the cheap line. <laughs> Nightcap. <laughs> on the Mondo. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. I've missed like 10 bites. Guys, it's getting late. Finally pulled out one of size. This is probably a two and a half pounder. Could be, could be more, could be three. It's it's fat. Actually, we've got the scale. We're gonna put it on the scale, aren't we? Fish with Luke and Roger out here, man. I've been missing so many hits. Literally throwing the Mondo worm off this point back to back to back. I think I missed probably five fish by now, but finally linked up with one. So let's put it on the scale and see what it weighs. Midnight release. Not really midnight, it's like nine. Oh, I was so off. This thing's fat. That's literally almost a three and three quarter right there. This thing's fat, yeah? Okay, that'll do. <laughs> Check that sucker out one last time before we put it in the water. Let's get it back. Oh my goodness. Cruising. That's how you finish a video right there. Definitely got to thank Roger on the camera, Luke for coming out here. Chef we thought was around, but I don't see him. So anyways, that might wrap up the golf course video right here. We'll definitely be back. There's big ones in here. We just didn't link up with too many tonight, over four or five pounds. In fact, I think Luke might've got one, but other than that, ours were probably in the threes. So uh, thank you guys for sticking with us until dark and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Oh.